Okay, guys. So um, we are going to build this gazebo today. Uh, it just got in the mail. Uh, this is from Sunjoy, and um, most of the time people will buy it from Yard History, but um, apparently they out of stock. So I'm gonna buy it off from Target, and uh, well. Give it another chance to look at a different product to see uh, how good it is compared to Yardistry. Because you could find actually a lot of uh, video about Yardistry gazebo online. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, everybody. So out of the box from a, the Sun Joy 10 by 10 gazebo kit. Um, first impression, look really good. It smelled great. It smelled like cedar. Um, and check it out. For the post, it actually is solid wood. And uh, no. As far as I thought it's solid wood, but it's actually four pieces of wood in here at the bottom. They kind of cover it up, but I mean, it's still a quality, solid piece of uh, work. Um, all right, we're gonna go in here and check every component. Okay, so I forgot to mention I also buy this uh, strong tie um, post anchor. I have a paper in the back, so I'll probably need to kind of Take up some paper, pull uh, concrete, and puts in there. Let me see a six by six, and it's fit perfectly. It fit really good, really good together. So that probably how I'm gonna do this. Right? Stay tuned. Okay. So this is the second box. First box is all about the wood. Second box probably about the hardware. Um, again, a very good impression. I like the way they actually build the case around the box to protect the inside. Um, yep, you know, um, way the good up design a really good product and don't know how to ship it correctly. Uh, you know, for many big company, but they ship part at like I mean, this kit cut about fifteen hundred, but um, their uh, whole tooling department that design had. Uh, the shipping box for um, lost component like the aerospace part that's the way I use the word but uh, again very impressive <laughs> I'm very uh, impressed with the way they box everything so um, yep let's keep it going what I'm gonna do now is applying a couple of coats probably four to five coats of sparse urethane <laughs> Um, uh, water base um, because I live in Seattle and have a lot of rain so um, it's recommended to have some sort of uh, coating to protect the wood from uh, the water and stuff like that so uh, that I'm, that's exactly what I'm gonna do now so stay tuned Okay, so this is the uh, the second day, and uh, after the first coat of uh, spar urethane. So what I'm gonna do next is sand it down a little bit, and then apply the second coat. Uh, the goal is to be able to do it four coat. Uh, you know, just to protect it from the water. I want it to last. Here we go. Okay, so uh, this is the third day. Third day, yeah. After three coat of spar urethane, you know, 
It's a little shiny. I use semi-gloss. Um, it dried now, so this is where the fun gonna happen. I'm gonna start putting together. Uh, the instruction is not the best. Um, I'm gonna try my best to kinda, kinda put it together. I'm gonna try to reassemble it first inside the garage and then bring the big piece outside. Cause, um, you know, just to save some time. Okay, stay tuned. There it is. Finished product. Wood for the stove. Bella. Kane. 